all balls. Dexter flicks down the leg side, another no ball, and Hall hangs his head quite penitently. May well be, I fancy, that English umpires, since the new rule, the front foot rule, have become altogether more no ball conscious and find, in fact, watching the back foot easier in terms of quickness of shout than watching the front foot. And this is a strange thing, but so it seems to be. The front foot call comes slower than the back foot call. In again comes Hall from the nursery and in. Bolster Dexter who gets over it and hooks it imperiously downwards. Pass McMorris up at silly mid on for two. McMorris turns to the alarm of an otherwise peaceful pigeon and throws back. The pigeon takes off and goes straight into the pavilion. 39 for two. Five to Barrington, 25 to Dexter. And still this ominous looking field with the men deep for the nick and up close for the man who plays back so that the ball pops up. And Hall ruefully tenses and flexes his right foot, sweeps in again. Okay. Bowls to Dexter, another no ball, it's cut for four. I was a little sorry to see this, and I could wish, in fact, that the white marker would be produced, which was such a help to English pace bowlers in particular. In recent seasons, this white metal marker to show the taking off point. And it'll take a bowler back a few inches and save him bowling a no ball under the old rule. I feel that would be a great help to these two, because there's little doubt that they're bowling in their normal style and there's no attempt to take an advantage. Hall comes in, bowls to Dexter, gets over it and hooks in magnificently. Away there, down to mid-wicket. It's chased but fruitlessly by McMorris. It's another four. This takes Dexter up to 33 out of 47. Of course, he's made bigger scores than 33 in test matches, and he may well do so this time. But I think I've never seen Dexter bat more reassuringly, nor more commandingly.